So this is a lesson for year eights, my 8C and 8Y classes, but if anyone else is watching, that's absolutely fine to get involved. Um, 8C will have done um, the first few activities that we're going to start off doing, but there are other bits that you can get involved in, so that's absolutely fine. So title and learning objective, we're looking at genre and understanding the different features of different genres. So we're just going to go on to the PowerPoint. So... As it says on the PowerPoint, using the dictionary, find and copy down the definition of genre and then in pairs or on your own, um, name as many different genres as you can. If you've not got a dictionary at home, Google it, find out what that word genre means, get parents involved or whoever's at home with you, see how many different genres you can come up with. Put me on pause for five minutes and then start it off again when you've come up with your different genres. So we've got some ideas of different genres that you might have come up with on the board. Um, romance, comedy, action, mystery, adventure, ghost, horror and so on. See how many you've come up with. Obviously we've only got about uh, 15 or 16 on the board here. You might have come up with lots more. There are absolutely hundreds. So if you post a comment below with how many you've got within your family group, then we'll see which family has come up with the most different genres altogether. Now, what I'd like you to have a go at doing next is choosing your favourite genre, or you could do this for a couple of them. So maybe you like comedy and action and try and identify the key features for that, that genre. So we've got an example here about sci-fi. So you'd expect to see things like stars and planets. You'd expect aliens, space and black holes, technology, travel, Particular, different particular clothes, spacecraft and possibly set in the future. So what I'd like you to do now is to do that for at least two of the genres that you really like. Um, have a go at trying to identify the key features for them. Give yourself about 10 minutes on that. OK, so we've got an example on here and it's been illustrated. So again, that's something that you can do for the genre that you've chosen or genres that you've chosen. Think about illustrating them with all the different features. That's all we're going to do today. And in our next lesson, which will be posted either tomorrow or the next day, we will start looking at particular genres and having a go at writing in those uh, different styles. OK, see you soon.